Hello, everyone. Welcome to Verbling. Hi there, I am Teacher Oakley. My wire's crossed. <laughs> hi there. Uh, welcome to Verbling. Uh, hi, uh, we are going to practice our English for the next hour by uh, discussing superstitions in our respective countries and cultures and um, hopefully we can find some similarities in superstitions usually I do when I discuss this with uh, people from around the world um, or maybe some very strange superstitions uh, Anyhow, uh, all uh, English speaking abilities are welcome to join the class, absolutely. And uh, we'll just enjoy a nice little chat. Uh, okay, so let me uh, say hello to everyone and just check this thing. Microphones are working properly. <laughs> uh, Hello, uh, Wichian. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine, you? I'm doing great. Uh, Wichian, you have some uh, a lot of background noise uh, on oh. your microphone. I can hear you loud and clear. There's a mm -hmm. deal of background noise. So please, could you uh, just mute your microphone in the... Uh, if you scroll up to the upper upper toolbar, you can see a mute microphone icon. And just uh, I'll I'll be talking to you. I'll I'll say your name, and then you can unmute yourself. If it's okay, but so that we can uh, hear each other uh, well. When you're not talking, just mute your microphone. Okay. Uh, okay. Did Thank you see? You did you hear me? I can hear you now. Yes, loud and clear. Yeah. And okay. other noise too. <laughs> <laughs> so just when you're not talking, just uh, mute it for me. Thank you. Uh, okay. Hello, uh, Pala Is it Palacio? Palacio. Uh, hello. Um, I'd like to welcome. Palacio or Palacia to the class? My name is Claudia Palacio. Okay, thank you. Sorry Gladys. for the mispronunciation. Uh, again, Palacio? Gladys. <laughs> Gladys. Well, that's a far <laughs> move. Uh, okay, Gladys. We'll, we'll take Gladys then. Hi, Gladys. Where are you from? I'm from Bogota, Colombia. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. Uh, welcome to the Thank class, you. Gladys. Thank I'm you. from the I'm from the United States. Uh, originally, I'm currently living in the Philippines. However, okay. Yeah. So hi, I'm on the other side of the world from you, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'd like to also welcome Nader. Hello, Nader. Is your microphone uh, cooking? Just chatting. <laughs> What's going on with your microphone, dude? Uh, <laughs> not cooking it at all. All right. All right, Nader. Fair enough. My, my microphone? Uh, Gladys, your your microphone is fine. No problem. I was speaking yes. with Nader. Nader's had problems with his microphone. No. Uh, it's fine. Yes, I'm speaking with someone else in the class, Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, I, okay. I understand, Nader. I got gotcha. you. Uh, okay. Thanks. Uh, hello, Heidi. How are you? Hello. Nice to see you. Heidi, what have you done Good to evening. your... Good evening. What have you done to your icon? Huh? Where's the, where's the color in Miss Good Kitty? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Monotone. Hello, kitties. Like, lost all her color. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know if I like it, Heidi. I chose modest one, no color. Modest one. Okay. Modest. All right. Much Fine. modest. <laughs> oh, all right. Fine. 
Yeah, but it's an angel flying. I, I don't know. Uh, okay. Very good. Nice to nice to have you in the class. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, um, oh boy. Okay, Gil, 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 something. I'm sorry. I can't can't see your whole name. Uh, it's like Gilly, Gil, okay. Gilly. Hi. My name is Julietta. One more time, please. I'm sorry. Julietta. Julietta. Oh, well, that ha I can handle. Hi, Julietta. How are you? Hi. I'm fine, thanks. Well, where are you from, Julietta? I am from in Italy. Italy? Yes. Wonderful. I've heard of that country. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Welcome to the class. It's not good. We have a nice mix of uh, nationalities here. That's good for this class. That's terrific. Welcome to the class, Julietta. Uh, welcome, Anastasia. Am I talking to Anastasia? That's right. Hi, okay. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Um, nice to see you. Uh, Anastasia, are you looking forward to Wimbledon? Uh, yes. <laughs> who do you pick? Who's who's the who's your pick for the winner? Uh, and women. Maria. Uh, Maria. Sharapova. Sharapova. Yes, and yep. Novak Djokovic. Djokovic. Well, Djokovic is yeah. a good pitch. Good pick. Yeah, those are pretty safe picks, I think. Okay. All right. Welcome <laughs> to the class. Thank you. Also, also I'd like to welcome. Um, sorry, is it Allah? Allah, Allah, Dan. Sorry, I can't read your full name. Hello, uh, my name is Allah. Allah. Yes. Okay. Yes, and uh, from Jordan. From Jordan. Okay, very yeah. good. All right, we do have a wide mix. Excellent. Perfect. Uh, Allah, welcome to the class. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Okay, let's get started. First of all. Let's define our topic. What is superstition? Who can tell me? Uh, open question for the class. Don't all jump at once. What is superstition? What am I talking about? Uh, superstition. What? How can we define superstition? Some, some people believe that uh, the unfortunate or unfortunate thing. Okay, it often, superstitions often have to do with fortunate or unfortunate, lucky or unlucky, uh, things or occurrences that may be lucky or unlucky. Uh, yes, that's very true. Um, basically, if I was going to define it, I might define it like this. Uh... Okay, uh, superstitions are basically uh, beliefs that people hold, usually within a society or culture, um, beliefs that people hold which cannot be scientifically proven. Okay, Nader, you're jumping in there just ahead of me. Um, okay, I wouldn't necessarily say a phenomenon. A phenomenon is the natural occurrence that that happens um, okay but uh, <laughs> yeah but uh, a belief system that people have for example classic uh, a black cat crosses your path that will be unlucky maybe you guys have heard that one before yeah I've heard and today maybe like one hour before I have a cat is trying well, she was, well, a cat, it was trying to cross the road where <laughs> I went. But really? I'm fine with that. Yeah, because <laughs> I think, um, you know, the black cat is not, um, like, uh, it's not her fault, like, you know, because of bad superstitions and 
I'm fine with that. But... Why do you say the cat was trying to cross the road? It kind of sounds like maybe you prevented the cat. No, no, <laughs> I, I did not prevent. I didn't prevent okay. it. Because uh, like she was trying, but then suddenly she stopped. Like, okay. I mean, Oh, because you are not, uh, you're not due for bad luck, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, but anyways, if the cat uh, was crossing the road, I'm fine with that, so just okay. superstition. Right, that was part of the class. Nader thinks this, that was part of the class preparation. Very good. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. I guess so. It was intuition, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Um, uh, all right. Uh, let me ask Gladys over there in Colombia. Gladys? Um, in Colombia, it's similar, similar yeah. co uh, country, Julieta. Um, okay. I don't much believe in superstition. All right. Do you have... <laughs> uh, do, do people have the superstition about the black cat? That seems to be fairly universal, worldwide. Okay. Do yes. you have that one in Colombia? Yes. Two. Yeah. Okay, as well. Um, mm -hmm. To um, open an umbrella indoor. Opening an umbrella indoors. Yes. Indoors. Okay. Because, because the person... Don't marry it. <laughs> the per wait, the person won't the get person married. Won't get married. Oh, it's a little different. Okay, in uh, English-speaking culture, it's just a bad luck thing. It's bad luck. It brings bad luck to uh, open um an umbrella in indoors. But in Colombia, here too, it's. Bad luck, but also it means you won't get married. Yes, Is bad that luck. Right? Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, all right. Well, uh, Nader, okay, black cats are bad luck in Egypt. You know, Egypt has kind of a really super ancient <laughs> history. <laughs> and, of, and crossing under stairs. Crossing under... And under the stairs. The stairs? Yes. Really? Escalera. Stair. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Stairs are, you know, the with the steps one at a time. That's interesting because in English-speaking culture, there's nothing about stairs but uh, a ladder. All right. A ladder is something you okay. use to... Climb up on the roof, uh, okay. outside the no. building. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. In in English speaking co countries, going underneath a ladder is bad luck. But actually, okay, here's a situation where mm -hmm. that makes perfect sense. Actually, if somebody is painting on the ladder or they're ham using a hammer, you know. If they drop it and you're under the ladder, well, yeah, that's mm -hmm. going to be bad luck for you. Tunk. Get hit in the head with a hammer. I would consider yeah. that bad luck. It's logical. Well, it's logical. Logical. <laughs> sometimes, occasionally, and not usually really, but occasionally there is a, there is some logic to superstitions. Uh, okay. Okay. Um. All right, uh, Nader also, okay, Nader, this is interesting. An owl is bad luck. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is very wow. interesting. Totally why? different connotation. Yeah, why, Nader? Maybe you don't know why. why. Why is a black cat bad luck? I don't really know exactly why. It's um, I know. Because, like, you usually do? people, well, kind of, yes. <laughs> Because, uh, like, uh, in um, ancient times, there were, like, witches. And people yeah. think that, like, our cats belong to witches. Oh. And it's a bad thing. That's why. Like, okay. That is Interesting. The reason. 
but I'm not sure about owls. Okay, owl. Okay, let's get owl. the pronunciation yeah. right. It's like ow. I hit myself in the head. Ow. Okay, same owl. sound. Owl. <laughs> owl. 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 Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. An owl in English-speaking countries is looked at as sort of an icon of wisdom, intelligence. Well, wisdom, wise. The wise old owl is a common co-location. So that's yeah, interesting. It's it's different. The Winnie Pooh, the Winnie Pooh uh, cartoon. <laughs> they have the an owl. Yeah, and right. like you know. Well, they come there and ask what they should do. What yeah, should he looks like a wise bird with his big, uh, big eyes. Yeah, with glasses. Yeah. Which yeah. Ian? Uh, yeah. Hi. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you for a minute, but uh, after we're done talking, please mute your microphone, or else everyone's gonna keep muting your microphone for you. Because I don't know, your breath is like, you sound like you're oh. underwater. Your your breath is extremely loud. And everyone in the class can hear it. All right? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm third, uh, for me, I'm third time okay. to uh, enjoy. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to do something to adjust your microphone, your either your settings or maybe how close your microphone is. Oh, okay, okay. It's, it's, it's very, very... You're breathing. We it can is. hear. It's very loud. Mm. Okay. So either okay. stop breathing or mute your microphone. I'll leave the choice up to you. Can. You can choose to stop breathing or you can mute your microphone. But please do one or the other. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's a joke. <laughs> you. A joke. Yeah, Amer <laughs> American humor. Okay. Uh -huh. um, but... Uh, that's sarcasm, me exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Which in? Uh, where are you from? Um, I'm from Thailand. Thailand. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're Thai. Okay. Which in? What superstitions do you have about bad luck? Mm, what well, brings bad luck? Um, I know how to explain the but and about the the animal like uh. Small crocodile and um, stay in the house. Um, I don't know what it's, uh, English uh, how to call it. a small uh, crocodile, <laughs> a lizard, <laughs> and about no, four. alligator, alligator. Yeah, but those are not small. <laughs> do you, do you mean right. a lizard? Um, Maybe. Hmm. I'm guessing. I have no idea. <laughs> and uh, the animal have four legs and, uh, to stay in my house. Okay. Can you show it? <laughs> yeah, mm. can we see it? <laughs> Great. Can you do then, uh, it? <laughs> Turtle, wait. maybe? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Is, it possible? Is it bad luck? Which in? Um no when you go out to the to the another place and when the when the storm um talk with you and uh routing and this is bad rough because when you uh uh <laughs> suppose I'm go to travel another another place, right? And then uh, the small is a uh, Routing in front of my house. So it, it um, what in front of your house? Yeah, yeah. What does it do? Walk? Is uh no, loud routing. Route. The small route. Oh yeah, sorry, animal. Route. Okay. I'm missing the word. I, I don't understand the word you're pronouncing. Okay. It sounds like route. Um, sorry. You know, resource. Sorry? Resource. Okay. Resource. Can you, can you type it? Lizard. Now I see it. Yeah, resource. Okay. 
All right, and uh, okay, I understand. The lizard is unlucky, but you can <laughs> you can type it. But I I thought there was an action that the lizard did, which was unlucky. Yeah. I wasn't. Yeah. I don't understand the action when a lizard no. dances. On that, a full uh, moon. <laughs> he tried to he tried to talk with you. He tries to talk with you. Okay, I thought I yeah. heard that, but then I thought uh, I must be. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I must be mistaken. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, no, I heard okay. you correctly. Okay. Okay. Well, there you go. In Thailand, remember that if you're ever in Thailand, if a lizard tries to talk with you, you should hmm. be nervous. All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Do the thing you? speak? English? Is he trying to speak in English? With they're you? Thai. They're th they're lizards from Thailand, so I have to assume they speak Thai. Oh, <laughs> they speak Thai language. Yeah. You can speak Thai language? No, 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 no I mean, lizard. Like, lizard. <laughs> try to speak Thai language with you, and then you should go away because it's bad luck, right? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. okay. <laughs> Confirm. Okay. We've got it. All right. So, all right. Any lizards that try to speak Thai with you, you should be nervous. Okay. Which, uh, what about the English? If they try to speak English no, with those you, are, those are lucky lizards. Oh, okay. Thai <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Actually. <laughs> Actually, um, here in the Philippines, we have small lizards that live everywhere. Uh, they're actually con kind of considered good luck because they eat mosquitoes. That's their primary food source. So they're good to have around your house, outside your house, on your on your porch. You you want to have lizards? Those are good. They're your friends. Um, Witchian, can you go ahead and and mute your microphone for me now? Yeah. Still, I'm still yeah. hearing the uh, the loud sounds. Yeah, tornado right. coming. From tornado. 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 There's tornado. A tornado. Sounds like a typhoon in Thailand. Yeah, very yeah. noisy. Yeah. So, Wichian, go ahead and mute your microphone. Maybe you can work on the settings later. Wichian, it's if you scroll up to the top of the hangout, you're gonna see some icons. There's a little person with a plus sign. Next to that, there's a microphone with a slash through it. Just click on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I don't see the other. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Well, <laughs> Turn no. Camilla. Mm -hmm. Okay, either you can do it or I can do it for you. <laughs> we can help you. Indeed, we can. Anybody can mute you, actually, at any time. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna help you out here. He can unmute all, every time. So He's he new, can... you know. Be be nice. He's new. He doesn't know how to operate the hangout yet. He'll get it. Fool around with it, Witchy, and you'll get it. All right, Heidi, uh, do you have talking lizards in Japan? <laughs> we don't have any lizards around here. You don't have any <laughs> lizards? Only kind oh, of. Oh, that's so terribly sad. About uh, superstition, uh, Japan, Japanese people are very sensitive about uh, numbers. For example, uh -huh. four, four or nine is a very bad number. So hospitals, uh, they don't have any uh, room number, four or nine. Four or nine? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I kind of knew about four. Four, four um, is uh, connected as die. Right. Yeah. Uh, because Japanese word for we call it she, she means death. Okay, so it's uh, a homonym. Okay, in English, the word homonym, mm. two words that sound exactly the same. Okay, mm. all right. So it uh, f the number four is a homonym for for die or death. Yeah, the yeah. number nine is uh, uh, suffer. A patient will suffer. Uh, the heavy pain or something. So, oh, really? Yeah, now it's avoided. But I, okay, I didn't. I did not know that. Very good, lucky number. Number six. Eight. Eight. <laughs> eight. Eight. Okay, eight is lucky. Yeah. 
Okay. Cool. All right. I remember that. I'll remember that. In um, in English speaking cultures, usually, of course, uh, as you know, I think Nader mentioned it. The number thirteen is unlucky. Lots of bad associations. Friday the thirteenth. Jesus Christ was crucified on that day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there are other bad connotations of the 13th, uh, a massacre that happened. There were some historical events that happened on Friday the 13th in particular. Friday the 13th, maybe Jason will come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe Jason. Oh, yeah. Plus, okay, another bad luck, of course. It's very bad luck for all of us that there are like 45 Friday the 13th horror movies. Mm -hmm. Yes, far too many, <laughs> many more than was actually necessary. Okay, 13th is unlucky. Seven, seven and 11 are often considered lucky numbers mm -hmm. in English. So, I'm not sure why. Yeah. I know like seven and eight. Eight, okay. Eight also, yeah, but I'm not sure in which countries. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, I, Heidi just said, now you know, uh, eight is lucky in oh, Japan. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why uh, 11 is lucky in the United States? Yeah. Have you ever heard of the game of craps? Nope. No. All right. You don't go to the casino very often, do you? Uh, um, Las okay. Vegas is far away from me. Yeah, okay. Uh, there's a, a dice game. You roll two dice. If you roll seven or eleven, that's generally... I'm not going to explain all the rules, but generally speaking, that's a good thing. You're safe. You win your bet. Generally. If you open with that point, never mind. I'm not going to get into the rules, but those are lucky mm -hmm. lucky rolls. Seven come eleven. Seven, there are deeper meanings. I'm not sure exactly what they are. You, you know, sevens come up in English... Ideas, culture, philosophy all the time, seven wonders of the world, the seven seas, etc., etc. I don't know, the number seven comes up a lot in things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not sure where that, that started, uh, yeah, to be honest. Um, Julieta, you've been very quiet and patient. Uh, Julieta? Yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, what What is unlucky in Italy? Okay, the black cat is unlucky. The thing of the wall is unlucky. The um, not the thirteen, the seventeen is unlucky. Seventeen. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Thirteen is luck. It's good luck. It is. Really. Yeah. Okay, that is very odd. Yeah. You know, you have the Vatican and everything right there. <laughs> we know. have the Vatican, but we have a lot of superstitions in Italy. Yeah, okay. What was the second one? You said black cats and... The, uh, the thing of the, of the all during the night. When you... Um, when you can hear uh, the old singing, the bird. The, oh, the owl again. Oh, owl. Owl. Oh, owl. Yeah, thank you. The owl singing right. the night. Bad luck. Owls don't sing. They say, "Woo." Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. And then uh, uh, bad luck is uh, uh, also if you drop um, olive oil on table, it's bad luck. Olive oil? Yeah. Well, actually it is. You can slip and fall. Um, okay. In, uh, you know, uh, in English-speaking cultures, I've, se I've actually seen people do this in a restaurant. If you drop uh, salt on the table... If you spill the salt, knock over the salt, you're supposed to, it's bad luck, but you can get rid of the bad luck if you immediately grab a pinch 
A pinch, mm -hmm. by the way, is an amount that you can pinch, maybe with your finger and thumb. Yes. That's a pinch. Mm -hmm. um, you take a pinch of the salt that you spilled and you throw it over your left shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. And you're okay. <laughs> but if you drop wine, it's good luck. It's good luck. Yeah. Okay. That's a very common thing um, in many cultures. I see, you know, I'm, I'm from the United States, so there's people from many cultures. I see people do this all the time. They open uh, a bottle of wine or whatever, uh, whatever, some alcoholic beverage, and they mm -hmm. spill a little bit on the ground okay, of the first, first part. Yes? Okay. Excuse me. What do you mean of beige? 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 I don't understand. Okay. Page. Uh, page. Hmm. Right, uh, I don't. Page. I, I'm not sure who said page in reference to what. I think it's Peach. Sorry. Peach. Page. I don't know. I don't Sounds know. like you're saying who's page. Peach? I don't. Pinch. What? Pinch, pinch. He pinch. Ah, uh, pinch. P-I-N-C-H. Ah, pinch. Okay, uh, a pinch. Okay, that can be a verb or a noun, all right? Okay, pinch. I understand you. I'm sorry. You pinch someone, you go, ow, you know? <laughs> ow, there's ow again. You, you grab someone with your finger and your thumb and you pinch them. Um, or you pinch a child's cheek, okay? Uh, but also a pinch we use for cooking, for measurement. Add one pinch of salt. Add one pinch of cinnamon. Okay, it's actually okay. used as a me as a measurement okay. as well. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Sure. Um, no problem. Uh, okay. Um, okay, you guys. Nader's coming up with stuff fast and furious. I can't keep up. And but Anastasia, what? There was something crazy about bird poop, or I, I don't know. Yeah, if a bird bird poops on you, it means you get <laughs> rich <some> son. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. That's a strange one. Yeah, and also, for example, if you have a dream about shit. You also get rich soon. Really? A dream yeah. about waste. Feces. Okay. You'll be yeah. rich. I don't know why. Well, there's a, actually, there's a whole area you're opening up here. Uh, superstitions about dreams. That's, uh, yeah, there's all many superstitions about dreams in many cultures. Mm -hmm. That they're predictive. Right. They can predict. Things. Um, Nader keeps asking about and I um, about enviousness and people being afraid of enviousness. Hmm. Uh, you've given a couple of examples. Um, someone tells you your house is wonderful, and then a fire destroys your house. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Um, okay. Uh, people are. Because people are envious, it brings bad luck. Is that the idea? Um, not so much in Western culture, I don't think, if that's what you're asking. Not, not really. Not as a superstition. Of course, it's a negative thing. It's looked at as very negative to be envious, obviously. But I wouldn't say there's a superstition involved. Um... Let me uh, talk to Allah, who's been also waiting patiently over there in Jordan. <laughs> yes. Hi, hi Allah. Uh, okay, a totally different part of the world. Uh, do you have superstitions about bad luck? Uh, yes, I think uh, in uh, our uh, community or in our part of the world, the uh, same things uh, maybe or commonly. Uh, the black cat, the in numbers number thirteen. Ah. Um, yes, 
the owl, the owl, and uh, the crow also. The, the crow. Uh, crow. Oh, crow. Yeah. Yes. Uh, even they uh, call uh, uh, people who are uh, uh, known uh, to jinx others. Uh, they call uh, call them uh, an owl or uh, a crow. <laughs> you can uh, call them like that. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, as a uh, good luck, uh, maybe the horseshoe. Uh, it's known uh, that bring uh, good luck. Uh, yes, that's uh, the main things uh, I know. Okay. Are are there rules about the horseshoe? Uh, to to hang the horseshoe and not and in the I think in the appropriate uh, side, not up down. Right. Okay. The a horseshoe is shaped like a the letter U. Yeah. Right. Okay. In in English in America, you will often see, for example, uh, above the door in a barn yes. or even yeah. a house, you will mm -hmm. see the horseshoe. But it has to be hung like this. The U is this oh, okay. way. Yes. So the, because if you hang it like this, then the luck runs out. Yes. Uh, so you will okay. lose the luck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Yes, the, okay. it's the man uh, in superstitions. Okay. All right. Good one. Okay. Uh, yeah, the horseshoes. I forgot about that one. Uh, okay. Um, uh, Gladys. Let's go back to Colombia. Gladys, we've been talking about bad luck. What brings good luck? In Colombia. In Colombia. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I, I haven't, I don't think superstition are through of past, past. In Colombia, superstition. Um, okay, well, we don't have to believe in it. Um, I, no, most, I don't believe. No, we but, don't. We're all, we're all educated but people. One superstition of people, Colombian people, mm. <laughs> in mundial, <laughs> yeah, because uh, today play today Colombian and Korea, Japan. Ah, <laughs> right, World Cup. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Let's see. It's good look. <laughs> Okay, what do people do? Okay, sports. Uh, when it comes to sports and good luck, oh my goodness, uh, yeah. Oh wow. I, for example, for example, uh, the people use uh, the yellow shirt. Yes. Okay, a lucky shirt. By, by three colors. Right, the, the team look. colors. Mm -hmm. Team colors. Mm -hmm. It's good look, but the no. Absolutely. It's good look. <laughs> I don't speak uh, English. It's okay. You're doing great. I understand you. Okay. You're doing great. Um, yeah, and when it comes to sports, oh my goodness, there yes. is another area of superstitions. So many superstitions about... Many, uh, many, 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 many people. Uh, all people use sure, sure three, three colors uh, champions. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. And do people have luck, good luck charms? Uh, an item, mm -hmm. for example. Here's a strange one. In English-speaking countries, a rabbit's foot is lucky. You, okay, you will... rabbits. A the... real rabbit's foot chopped uh -huh. off. Yeah, crazy. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. That's lucky though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see many people with a rabbit's foot on their keychain, on their car keys, for example. Rabbit toe? Yeah. Foot. Yes. Yeah. The whole foot. Chopped off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I yeah, in, the case, in the case, uh, cha um, mm. in the key, 
keychain. On the keychain, yeah, yeah, for the car keys. There's a hanging yeah. from the keychain, a rabbit's foot. That's very common yes. Actually, yes. in America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, it's very interesting that the Gladys brought up uh, sports because – Actually, I just have to share with you. American baseball players are the most superstitious people on earth. Mm -hmm. They're more superstitious than a Amazon jungle tribesmen. Yeah. They are crazy. Yeah. They're totally insane. <laughs> um, many, many superstition yeah. in South in South Country. Yeah. Well, that's true. But I'm telling you, American baseball players have them all beat. There's been many famous uh, baseball players y you wouldn't even believe. Babe Ruth, the most, maybe the most famous baseball player ever, put a piece of cabbage okay. on his yes. head uh -huh. <laughs> when he yes. played baseball. Tor <laughs> yeah, he did. Um, Wade Boggs ate fried chicken before every single game and he played Thousands of baseball games. Um, yeah, another a famous baseball player that used to pitch for for the Red Sox. He would not wash his hat for the entire season. Okay, which starts April first and ends in October first. So mm -hmm. he would never wash his hat. <laughs> I guess he smells for about it. Yeah, it's very funny. He was a pitcher, so his his blue hat. He would, as part of his wind up, his beginning ritual, he would he would grab his hat with with his thumb, and he would pull his hat, you know, and then he would take the ball and bring it to his chest and go into his wind up. But that was part of his ritual. So because his hands were always sweaty, his hat mm -hmm. was. At the end of the year, his hat was brown, but there was one blue spot underneath where his thumb, his sweaty thumb was, and one sort of round blue spot on the top uh, mm -hmm. where his the top of his fingers were. And that was the only part that was blue. The rest was brown and crusty. <laughs> <laughs> totally disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I believe more in the logic of things. Yeah, well, yeah, well, me too. But for some reason, it's funny you bring up sports because many athletes are very, very superstitious. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, uh, Nader, you didn't, uh, you've told us about bad luck things. What about, are there any good luck things? Do you have any any good luck elements for us in your country? Uh, you can write it while you're writing it. I'll go back and... Uh, Me? It, no, uh, Nader, who's not uh, microphone. Okay. Uh, okay um, Which is, uh, yeah. Yeah, my country is uh, being a lucky number is nine. Nine? Yeah, nice. Okay, so and what do we have... We have lucky numbers seven, eight, nine, and eleven so far. And, 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 yeah, okay. And the bad luck uh, is a bad class. The same another. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, which in what else is good luck? What is considered to be good luck? Mm, uh, example, um, when you buy a new home, you need to... Uh, uh, number is nine, and when you uh, stay in home, you uh, uh, found happiness, found uh, everything good. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for that valuable piece of information. I am now going to invest money in Thailand real estate, and I'm going to sell everything for nine hundred ninety thousand dollars. <laughs> Nine hundred ninety nine dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I will be rich. People right, people right. Nine nine nine. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you for that. That is an excellent tip. And while I am there investing in real estate, of course, I will always watch for talking lizards. Of course. All right.
which Ian, you've been indispensable today, actually. Um, which Ian, is there anything else that I have a question? Which Ian, one very again universal good luck item is a four leaf clover. Do you know what that is? Mm, I I don't get it. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't know. I can't draw it. <laughs> horrible draw. Uh, it's a small plant, and it has uh, the leaves kind of shaped like a heart, sort of, but it has four leaves. Four leaf clover. It's considered, it's considered lucky to find because it's rare to find, actually. Well, at least in most places, it's difficult to find. No, you're not familiar with that one, huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I'm curious because that's been... Uh, I found that to be uh, many places in the world. Uh, um, gla uh, hang on, Nader. Gladys, do you, I just want to quickly ask, Gladys, do you... Do people in Colombia think a four-leaf clover is lucky? Police. Four. Four. Leaf. Leaf clover. Sorry, clover. Four leaf. Leaf clover. Good pronunciation practice too. Clover. Yeah. Four leaf clover. Yeah. Okay. You're forcing me to do this. You spell clover. Right, please. Sure, I already did in the verbling chat, but I, I don't. I think it's not good enough. So, okay, let me. Hang on, just wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hang on. Hold your horses. Uh, okay. It's a plant that kind of looks like this. Okay, yes, yes. Yeah. See my I, I brilliant have, artist. I have a turtle. Or from. This is a flower? It's yes. not really a flower. It's all green. It's like a plant. It has a flower, but this is really the leaf part of it. Yes. Oh, yes. I, I have a flower for for flower? You you have a what? Mm, give me a, a friend. A, one treble. You gave for a friend? Oh, you give to a friend? Yes. For good luck. Oh, okay. Oh. In Okay, when I was growing up uh, as a child, Children would pick, uh, find a four-leaf clover, and then um, close it inside a book to preserve it, keep it flat, and uh, keep it. Um, I remember years later opening my children's books, and there would be four-leaf clover stuck in there. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Apparently, Nader wants to run a survey. Nader is in the verbling chat box. He's curious if uh, I receive, I receive. If, if we believe uh, that when okay here let me read it for those who can't see the chat box. He's curious whether we believe uh, when someone tells you that your house or car or whatever is wonderful, and then you have a fire or an accident or something that destroys your house or car. Do you think it's because of envy? Well, I'm I'm saying no, and uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, and uh, Julietta is saying no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, we don't we don't have that belief. Uh, Witchian, you, do you have that? Uh, yeah. That idea that things are destroyed because of others' envy. Envy. Envy, jealousy. They're jealous. They wish they had your house. They wish they had your car. Mm. They're envious. They're they're angry because they don't have what you have. That's envy. In Colombia, really stupid emotion, in my opinion. 
<laughs> totally I'm ridiculous thinking. waste of energy. But hey. In uh, Colombia, the people use, use the, their cards. Camandula. Camandula. Okay. What is that? Camandula. Camandula. Okay, I'm not sure what, what for, that is. For British. Um, for British. Um, I don't know. I explain. Um, Play the rosario. Oh, to play devils what? Devil's no. something. In in the in the glass in the retrovisor, the glasses in in the car. Push the rosario. In the car. When, when you yes. Yeah. Okay. In. Hmm. In the tracer mirror. In the in the mirror that looks backwards, the rear yes. view mirror. Okay, put that's the, put the rosario. For oh, I get you. Okay, right. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I do now. Um, right. All right. The rear view mirror in your car. Actually, here's another uh -huh. area. Superstition. It's called the rear view mirror. You look uh -huh. at it to see behind you. Hanging things from the rear view mirror. Yeah, yes. You, okay. Um, all right. Uh, you can see the rosary, the beads that you count in Catholic religion when you say the rosary, the prayers. You see that hanging or dice. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> That's also a common thing. Maybe a rabbit's foot. Um, a cross, of course, any religious icons. Yes. Uh, definitely. Okay, those are considered lucky. See those all the time here in the Philippines, too. All the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, also, St. Christopher, of course, because he's a saint of travel. So, St. Christopher medal. For protection. For protection, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Absolutely. Uh, okay. Um, which end, I'm going to mute you again. you got to figure out how to do that all by yourself. <laughs> I will help you anyway. Anyway, we can, we'll all help you, but <laughs> figure yeah. it out for yourself. Okay, you guys are talking a side conversation about the evil eye. Okay, actually, these are related to what Gladys is talking about. Things to ward off the evil eye, religious amulets, for example. Um, yes, in English culture, we also call it the evil eye. I like the hot eye, though. <laughs> cool. uh, what about Swami? Uh, a pun in a dictionary is also like a whammy. Whammy. Uh, whammy. Okay. Is it the uh, same or it's different? All right. Um, actually, uh, Allah left. Too bad, but okay. We have words. If you put a curse on someone, you curse them, you jinx them, or you put, put a whammy on them. If you jinx someone or something, <laughs> okay, let me see if I can explain this. All right. Um, okay, for example, uh, if I worked, I worked at a job, and uh, all the time, my boss would call a meeting uh, Friday afternoon. We had Saturday, Sunday off. He would call a meeting at like six o'clock on a Friday. He would do this all the time. He wanted to kill that guy. We hated that. Um, last minute meetings on Friday, just as you're about to leave for the weekend. Mm -hmm. For example, okay. Um, my friend at work comes to me and says, hey, did you see? It's 5 o'clock, and the boss hasn't called a meeting yet. And I would say, ah, damn, you jinxed us. You mentioned it. You went ahead and you said it. Oh, that's terrific. Oh, great. Now you've jinxed us. You said it out loud. We're jinxed. We're cursed. 
you made a whammy on us. Uh-huh. Yeah. Can you type this word, please? Jinx? Yes, it's a weird yes. word because it's a strange spelling. Because it has an X. Thank you, N Nader. Oh, Nader beat me to the punch. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I want to say this one. Beat me to the punch right now in this expression. Yeah. Yeah. We uh -huh. also, in, in English culture, if you're talking English, you're conversing with a, an English speaker, something very strange may happen. You may both say the same word at the same time. Okay, a Anastasia, let's pick a word. I don't know. Um, I want you to say the word eyeballs. Ready? Uh, on three. One, two, eyeballs. three. No, on eyeballs. three. Don't jump the gun. Okay, okay. Ready? One, two, three, eyeballs. Eyeballs. No, it has to be the same time. My, Your timing is horrible. One, two, three, and uh, when it's time eyeballs. for four, say eyeballs. Ready? One more try. One, two, three, eyeballs. Eyeballs. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, okay, I mean, like, never mind. Someone, yeah, two someone people someone. say... Exactly the same thing at exactly the same time. Uh huh. One person will say, "Jinx." Okay. Jinx. This, jinx. It means that the other person is jinxed. If they say jinx first, then you're jinxed. Right? You you have a curse. You're gonna have bad luck. So if you say the same uh -huh. thing at the same time as somebody else, you say jinx. Uh. To avoid bad luck, it's a superstition thing, but it's also like a kids' game. All right, kids will oh, jinx and double jinx. For, yeah. yeah, for me, it's for example, one Russian like superstitions. For example, if two people with uh, the same name, you should um, sit between them and make a wish, and this will come true. Re oh, that's an interesting one. That's one I've never heard before. That's a good one. Oh, that's a cool one. I, I like that one. I'm going to remember yeah. that one. Um, okay. Julieta, do you have any more good luck? If you make a wish well, when you see a falling star. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a classic. Yeah. Now shooting I'm going to. Uh, yes, a shooting star. Or the first star you see. Um, there's Here, uh, let me share. What is the um, difference between like falling star and shooting star? Is this the same? Yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same concept in English. Yes. Um, uh, okay, when you see the first star of the evening, also shooting star or first star, first star of the evening, you can say, uh, I, first star I see today, night, okay, wait. First star I see tonight, I wish I may, I wish I might, wish this wish, I wish tonight. And then you wow. make a wish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> can I type okay. that? Oh my god, I can barely speak it. Um, okay, can you type the first line and then I will find it in the internet? Okay, it starts with first star I see tonight. Uh, okay. Uh, I wish I may. I wish I might. Uh, wish this wish. Something like that. Uh huh. Okay. No, just put that phone in and turn it away. I put the whole thing in there. There you oh. go. All right, I can do it. All right, and uh, shooting stars, of course. Uh, definitely, you can make a wish on a falling star. Okay. I wish that all of you have a great day, uh, evening, afternoon, whatever you have to look forward to in your part of the world. Uh, my time is up, and uh, I bid you adieu. Uh, ciao. Ciao. Uh, huh? Yeah, ciao. Uh, Bye. 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 Bye.